Why did you think it was necessary for you to come out? You know, you've read some of the mail. People say, so if you're going to, why not just let that be your business? Why was it necessary for you to come out, tell the public? Why was it necessary for the character to do so? Because it's okay. Because it is okay. Such a big moment oh, there. I know. So that was comedian Ellen DeGeneres describing why she came out to the world as gay in 1997. Now, you may remember that iconic moment happening on an episode of her sitcom, Ellen. Well, today is National Coming Out Day, meant to empower people within the LGBTQ plus community to share and celebrate their true selves with the world. This all started in 1988 to mark the one year anniversary of the March on Washington for lesbian and gay rights. And here with us to discuss the significance. Ted Lewis, director of youth and family programs for the Human Rights Campaign, one of the largest LGBTQ advocacy groups in the country. Ted, uh, why why is National Coming Out Day so important to celebrate? Good morning, Jay and Alex. Thanks so much for having me. We're excited to celebrate National Coming Out Day this year because we want to honor those in our community who are ready to share their full authentic selves with others, be that their family, their coworkers, their friends. It's a day to really honor that journey when folks can figure out who they are and share it with the world publicly, just as you all saw Ellen DeGeneres do back in 1997. So I want to talk about how to be a good support person because I had a family member who came to me and came out in her late 20s and my initial reaction I will admit was a selfish one. It was, well, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you say something? And then I had to change my thinking and, and say, Alex, it's not really about you in this moment, you know, and, and it's about their comfort level. So how can we be better support people and to understand that, hey, this is this is very much not a you thing. <laughs> you can't control when someone is comfortable enough to come out to you and it's nothing personal. That's right, Alex. It takes time for someone to figure out who they are mm -hmm. and then it takes strength and bravery to share that with others. Like you said, it's not about you in that moment. So at HRC, we talk about taking a pause, taking a breath, checking in with yourself, taking a moment to sort of hold on to those feelings that you have in terms of your initial reaction, and then making sure that you show the love and support and gratefulness to that person that shared that little bit about themselves with you. When someone comes out, it means they trust you. And like you said, it takes time to build that trust and it may feel harsh that they didn't tell you sooner, but it could be any number of reasons why they didn't let you know earlier. They may not have been worried about you. They may have been worried about someone else or their family's reaction or what would happen to them in the workplace, et cetera. But when someone shares who they are, you have an opportunity to show them love and support right from the start. How specifically is Human Rights Campaign helping this community? The Human Rights Campaign, as you noted, Jay, is one of the largest LGBTQ advocacy groups in the U.S. And we work through advocating for public policy that's inclusive of our community. We work on elections to ensure that there's legislation that passes across the country that is pro-LGBTQ. And we work on research and education to ensure people can better understand our community and know how to be supportive. So a lot has changed in our culture since the first National Coming Out Day 34 years ago. I mean, just looking at that Ellen DeGeneres clip and Oprah, the hair, very <laughs> different. Okay, let's just talk about that for a hot second, okay? Um, that just shows how things have changed, though. There's a lot more acceptance, but there are also still a lot of challenges. Uh, we know about, you know, in recent years, several anti-LGBTQ laws have been passed in some states. So what do you think needs to happen to move the fight for LGBTQ plus rights and acceptance even more forward. Yeah, like you notice a lot has changed. We've seen trends change. Those hairstyles are a little out of date. <laughs> it's the bangs. <laughs> exactly, it's always the bangs. You know, our community has seen tremendous pushback as we've made that progress. And in 2022, we've actually seen the most anti-LGBTQ laws across the country than ever on record. And so what we're looking for is our community to be out and loud and proud when they feel safe, when they feel comfortable, when they feel confident. And that's what we do when we celebrate National Coming Out Day. It's also a chance for our allies to speak up and speak out, push for pro-LGBTQ legislation in their home states, in their home communities, at their school board, in their school districts, ensuring that LGBTQ young people know that they are loved and supported. That visibility means that a young person at home watching your news station right now gets to see someone who may have the same identity as them. They get to see Ellen, they get to see LGBTQ people in the media and know that they're gonna be okay. And so that visibility, that support from allies, 
and the likeliness that we'll be able to continue to push forward all comes from people being willing to share their unique, authentic selves publicly with others. So if you feel ready, we encourage our community to come out today, and we hope our allies will show up and be supportive. If you're not ready to come out, that's okay. We'll be here when you're ready. It's amazing the uh, the shift also in public perception yeah. of the issue of just uh, for gay marriage. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at a Gallup poll right now. In 96, it was at 27 percent, and today it's at 71 yeah. percent. That's such a massive shift in public opinion uh, towards such a key issue. Ted Lewis, Director of Youth and Family Programs for the Human Rights Campaign. Appreciate your time. Thanks so much, Jane Alex. Have a great day. Yeah, you too.